outright mockery of the U.S. military's inability to either capture or kill Suwadi Sadano. The guerrilla leader has appeared on the front lines of nearly every major being sold over the internet and have become popular across the world. Even their wearers seem largely unsure whether or not irony is. I mean, it seems like we went to war without declaring anything, and a war we're kind of losing. I don't know what's... Bringing the smallpox vaccination death toll to six. Still no word from government officials regarding... You're just about in position. Right. I see the abandoned, but where's the shipyard? Underground. The dock was made for submersibles. What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome back. I'm your host, Sinistrina One, and we have the next mission for Splinter Cell Pandora tomorrow. Hard walkthrough with minimal interactions, things like that. Uh, there are going to be a few knockouts we have to do on this mission because it is mandatory. Uh, but I will, again, try to get around any situation I can. Watch out for the laser here. And you should be able to get through this first section pretty easily, all the way till you get to the elevator. It's not too difficult to do. Uh, Timing-wise, you should be doing just fine. Again, this was another live stream that I did uh, as we went through the mission, learning it and figuring something out. I tried to do something a little bit more unique in the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned uh, for that. Maybe you've never seen the mission done in that kind of way, or the, the ending section done in that kind of way, and hopefully you'll appreciate the amount and effort that it actually took to uh, pull it off. So here, everything is just very, very straightforward. Uh, so I just want to reiterate that after Splinter Cell Pandora tomorrow, we are going to be moving on to Chaos Theory, and we're going to be making that even more challenging than we did before. Obviously with no knockouts, minimal interactions, things like that, what you're uh, used to seeing on the channel as of late. So hopefully you guys have been staying safe inside uh, during this pandemic, and hopefully everything between you, your friends, and your family are going well. We're going to jump here, and then we're going to be able to do the split jump into the next section. Here you're going to want to go ahead and get up against the crate and just wait for the guy to start moving. You can actually get around him now if you do a SWAT turn now. He won't shoot you. As you can see, there's a turret there as well, and there is a zip line. So you could go the zip line route if you want to, which I feel is, you know, obviously more of Sam Fisher's style. But to me, it doesn't make a lot of sense in this section because there's a guard that's going to be sitting right down, like eating or doing something, and you literally zip line right above his head, and you have to climb the zip line right there, which is, to me, out in the open compared to where he is, and I feel like he would realistically, he would see that. So we're not going to go that route. We're going to do something a little different. We're going to go this way, which is the same. It uh, doesn't add any difficult. You just got to wait until the turret is not looking in your direction, and then you should be able to go. Here we've got a little uh, Metal Gear Solid action with the uh, laser trip wires through the, uh, if you remember, through the little garage area before we got out onto the um, the tank boss battle. And then we're going to be moving on to the um, control room section, which can be a little tough. Of course, it just depends on uh, how you do it, if you do distractions. So I'm trying to do no whistles, so it makes it tougher. GPS shows you're a stone's throw from the control room. Walk softly and use that technician. If you raise the sub yourself, you're going to bring up a lot of Dara Dandoa, who won't be happy to see you. You're underestimating my charm. So here we're going to get up against the wall, and we're going to wait. One guy is going to be coming out. There's no way you can climb the pipe, even though it looks like you should be able to climb the pipe. Unfortunately, it is not a climbable pipe, I guess. So the first guard's going to go, and there's another guard that is sitting down at the desk. There's, there's too much light, so you can't just sneak by him. Why aren't you in the hall? I was just sending an update back home. What about your patrol? It'll still be there when I finish. But if you wait, he will move, and then you can actually get in. Now, getting out is going to be a different story, but you can at least get in pretty easily. Why is the light out? It's broken. Listen, let me finish this email to my sister. Sure. Tell her I haven't forgotten her. Go to hell. 
And we're going to interrogate this guy. There's no way around it. You have to um, actually interact with the computer. This is going to allow the sub to come up. Make sure you don't knock him out too quickly because you still need to actually get him to talk to the people on the sub in order to make sure that no alarms go off. Garrett, what's going on? We weren't supposed to surface for another four hours. Garrett, are you there? Answer me if you're there. Otherwise, I'm pulling the alarm. Tell him we're kosher. What? Tell him nothing's wrong. Okay. There's no problem. I had a warning light flash on the ballast tanks. I'll put you back under as soon as they're fixed. Copy that. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna pick up this item right here. Now, again, I, I want to do this without using a whistle, because the whistle is just too easy to use. It's just too overpowered. So switch the lights off here. It's really the only way you're going to be able to throw. Put that down. And then you can turn them back on. And the reason in this case we turn them back on is because he will do a different pattern if the lights are on as opposed to if they're off. If the lights are off, he will stand there, turn them on, and then go back outside. Whereas if the lights are on, he will stand there and then he'll move it further inside. Now we just need to wait for this guy. Now, you could have possibly got into the black as soon as that guy moved that way. It, it is possible, but I just didn't take, I didn't take the risk or the chance, but it is something you could do. Right, see the black there? You could have got up against the right wall and waited for him to pass, and then moved on up. But then you also run the risk of him seeing you because he just does a quick turnaround and then goes right back. So you definitely want to wait for things to kind of get better here because the guards do some weird turnarounds here. They do like a 360 in like less than a second. So you can be seen sometimes. So you got to really be careful, be a little patient, and uh, it'll pay off for you in the end, of course. So we're moving on to the next section. We have one guard here on this platform. You can easily get by him if you just stay to his left. He's going to stop. Get up close as you can to him, and then eventually he'll turn around, but he'll turn around from uh, the right side, so you'll be able to just snoop on past him. Or you can get against the wall on the left. It's up to you. So this next section, make sure that you do not enter the... Uh, enter this little elevator thing. Just use the switch. Because the developers have put a little secret down that you can actually use to stay stealthy because there's a guy looking with a light. Here you're going to wait till this guard turns. There, now you want to go. Grim's daughter's got her hands on Komodo security personnel protocols. Inside that submarine, you're going to be outmanned and outgunned. That's everywhere I go. Here you're just going to go ahead and get on this left side here and wait for this guy to pass, and then we're going to make our way into the sub. If you're quick enough, you can get in there before he sees you because there is light around this area. So normally he would be able to see you if he turns around. We're going to head down here. There is going to be a guard that patrols this area, so you're going to want to hurry up and get on this right little area up ahead, which will allow... Make sure you stay to the right here. Try not to get into the light. 
And of course, once this guard passes, then you should be able to freely get by him without any problems. Here you're going to be a little slow, as there are a few guards sleeping. So you just need to be careful. And make your way further down the sub. We're going to do a SWAT turn. And we're going to switch the light off. It's the only way to distract him. Otherwise, you could do a whistle. But since we're this is a no-whistle run... <laughs> I can't over explain just how easy it is to use the whistle in some of these situations. It's very, very overpowered. There's going to be a guard coming through this door, so we're going to wait here for him. This guard we actually need to take out because he is going to get us into the closed off section with the thermal scanner, or the retinal scanner. Alright, we're going to go ahead and hide his body over here. Nobody will come over into this section. And this is where we'll be leaving in just a few moments as well. We're going to make our way inside and we're going to get right up against this right side here. I'm going to go down a cup of coffee. I'll be back in a few minutes. Can you bring me a cup? No. You know the equipment's too sensitive for us to drink in here. Once he leaves the room, then we're going to go ahead and move up, but you need to be quick because this guy on the left there by the computer is going to be moving to the periscope, so you want to make sure that you're you're moving a little quicker here. Even though you are in the dark, as you can see, sometimes you get a little bit in the light. Great work, Fisher. What do we got, Grim? Just need to find the terminal's ID number. There. Looks like we've got five subscribers. Satellite phones. U.S. numbers? Yeah. Echelon's linking them to a private military corporation. Something called Displace. We'll run a cross-check on their recent contracts. Five PMCs line up pretty nicely with our five POTS boxes. What's my part? Amityville time. Get out. If we got the POTS boxes, then there's nothing stopping us. The Joint Chiefs will want to move fast. Rendezvous with Cohen. It's about time you introduced yourself to Sedono. All right, so first off, we're going to grab um, these two smoke grenades up here. Try to do it quickly. There is a guard coming up. And you're going to put your face to the wall so that he doesn't see you. When he turns around, you're going to want to go ahead and knock him out. Mandatory knockouts from here on out. We're going to use the four smoke grenades. We're going to go down here, and we're going to uh, do the little trigger. And then immediately head right back up. That just sets off the scripted trigger. And we're going to be using smoke grenades to take these uh, enemies out. It can be tough to aim, and it will take you a while before you can actually get something like this, but this was actually, uh, took a very, very long time for us to actually get it, because sometimes the barrel was, would explode. So place them where you see me shoot them. Now, alternatively, you can go down the sub on the outside, and then you can sticky shock and get them all from the corner. But I prefer to do it this way, because it's a little different. And there you go. As long as you place those smoke grenades in uh, the same manner that I did, you should be able to take them all out with just smoke grenades. There's a total of four enemies. Again, you can uh, get on the sub and do the regular Sticky Shocker Air 4 rounds if you want. But I like to try to mix it up, do something a little different, and uh, we decided to go for um, knockout by smoke grenades. And there you have it, ladies and gents. The fission is minished. Hopefully you guys get that. But uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Love you all. Don't forget to leave a like. Become a supporter. Hit that join. Become a member. Helps us out tremendously. Love you guys. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.